Hey, what's your first name? Gary and Ted Michaels. And that was, what, that 12 years ago? Hell, I did Gary and Bill Smith, and then you did. Then he came back and he did that. That was like, yeah. Here. I'm supposed to remember these things? Oh, I, I don't know. Well, I, I'll tell you, after we did that panel, me and Gary became very good friends, and I had a radio show going on, and Gary was a frequent guest. And I'll say it, I've said it before, and I'll say it again, that this man is a legend. I've never walked away from a conversation with Gary without learning something about film and life in general. It's what we call and, a real, an unsung legend. An unsung legend. But, he sung yeah, it's like, you people know who he is, but the world shouldn't know who he is. Exactly. And, and I'm just happy that he's a friend of mine. So, yeah. Same here. And, you know, we still talk, and uh, actually, uh, I just introduced Gary to the guy who uh, put my book together, and Gary's book is going to get reissued again the right way, and where he's going to get a paycheck out of the deal instead of getting screwed like these third-party guys do, so. Gary, I saw the film. I can't hang around because i got to let my damn dogs out again, but, yeah, yeah. It's always a pleasure, and I'm going to pick up a copy anyway. I saw the advanced one, and I didn't see the new one, but... I will, before the weekend's out, I will have one in my hand, so, uh, hey, glad you're my friend, my friend, and we still got stuff to do, so let's keep going, you know? All right, I'm going home, you guys enjoy the film. So, I'm Joe O'Connell. Uh, 21 years ago, I went to a writer's conference in Austin, Texas. And I met this guy. He had white, silver white hair, a Burt Reynolds mustache. He was carrying a Hartman briefcase. He was hustling it. He was hustling it. what eventually became his memoir. And I met this guy, and we got to talking. And by the time I was done, I was heading home and going directly to the video store, because this is 20 years ago, uh, and getting a copy of Satan Satis and watching it. And I told my then girlfriend, now wife, that, uh, man, I need to interview this guy. And so I, I tracked him down, interviewed him, and uh, became friends with him. And at one point I said, somebody needs to do a documentary about you, Gary. Somebody's got to do it. And his memoir was going to come out, and I suddenly realized that person was me. Uh, and... Uh, you're, the film's kind of that journey in some ways. Gary, you had something you wanted to say. Uh, yeah, first of all, I want to thank all of you for being here. Thank and, you. And thank you, thank you. Uh, I don't want to put a bummer on the evening, but I do have a little story that I'll tell very quickly. Uh, I was in a really good mood this afternoon, and I went to my room, got out my phone, and there was a message from someone who was on a film I just finished. I just did five films down in Austin, Texas. And on this one film, it was a biker film. I've done a lot of biker films. And this one girl kept falling off her bike and having trouble. And yet I knew she was a good bike rider. So I couldn't figure out what was going on. What was the problem? And uh, I liked her a lot. She was young, 23 years old. Suddenly there was a message when I went to my room that she had severe Parkinson's disease, and they just diagnosed it. And my heart just went thump. And then I realized how important we all are to each other, and how important you all are to me. I am well into my dotage by now, and I've had an incredible life. You'll see some of it in the documentary, but just a bit of it. Any, any life, you know, contains all kinds of stuff. And there, there are, besides all the stunts I've been able to do with my buddies, male and female, and uh, the marriage I've had, I've had been very, very lucky. So here I am at this age, and I've never been diagnosed with anything other than broken bones and, you know, the usual thing, being a degenerate and that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm very, very lucky. And the news I got tonight just made me realize how much more I wanted to see all of you this evening. So now before we get on with this, I have to tell my one story that I have a hundred stories, maybe thousands, 
And I've told this before, but I'll tell it again. To you that haven't heard it before, I was in the back lot of Universal Studios with William Smith, Chuck Bale, and Neville Brand, who was a great character actor, maybe before your time, before you knew him. Neville was also a drunk, and uh, we were on the back lot down by the old buildings, and Neville and we all were talking, and up on the hill was one of the tour buses, Universal tour buses, full of people, mothers with their children, so on and so on, husbands, fathers, and they started down off the hill, but before they started down, Neville said, I've got to relieve myself, so he turned around to do just that, and here came the bus, down off the hill, and Neville turned, hey, we're in luck, here's Neville Brand, Neville, say something to the crowd. Hi, everybody. <laughs> well, that's my story, I hope you enjoy this. That's a Taking it with him. <laughs>